Hi there, hoppers! In this academy video, we'll explain how you can create custom triggers. Custom triggers are requested by a lot of users and are very helpful if you know how to use them. Let's create one. Go to your config and go to triggers. It depends on your package how many triggers you can have. With a bunny, you can have two. With a hare, five. And our kangaroo users can create 10 custom triggers. Before we create a new trigger, Please note that everything you need to know about the triggers is found in the documentation as well. Let's create a new trigger. Click the New button. There are four sections. In this section, you can name your trigger and enable it. In the Trigger section, you can configure how your trigger is triggered. At the publishing of this video, a trigger can be triggered by a technical indicator percentage change, or a specific price. In the Action section, you can configure what action has to be initiated when your trigger is triggered. If we, for example, configure that a drop in the price triggers the trigger, you can decide at the Action section that an email has to be sent to you. Other actions your trigger can initiate are Enable or disable buying and selling Hold or unhold positions Set a percentage profit Buy or sell And initiate the Panic button in the last section, it's possible to enter the cooldown period in minutes. In the cooldown period, the trigger will not trigger again. Let's create a simple trigger. I want to get an email if BTC drops to $5,000. First, fill in the name. Select the trigger, which is of course when BTC drops. Select the exchange your trigger has to watch. This doesn't need to be your own exchange. Select the pair. Select the indicator, which is obviously the price. Fill in when your trigger has to be triggered. Select the action. You could configure a buy, but we're going to configure an email. Select the cooldown period. Let's say we do not want any emails within a day, so we configure a cooldown period of a day. And you're done! You can use triggers to set buy and sell orders, to disable your hopper, and so on. It's also possible to initiate a sell based on a different technical indicator than the indicator your position has been bought on. So you could configure, for example, that your hopper has to buy based on Bollinger Bands, but sells with a trigger that is based on EMA. Happy hopping!